In this video, we're going to be talking about carbs and protein for muscle growth. Once you've gone to the gym, you've had a great resistance workout, you created a good response. Do you really have to have proteins and carbs together to improve protein synthesis? Do you really need that large spike in insulin to enhance your muscle building efforts? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Kola and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And if this is your first time here and you really want to improve your fitness, health and nutrition along with me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week and I wouldn't want anyone to miss one of the videos. Okay, let's get right to the topic. You know, let's talk about proteins and carbs and muscle building. Let's talk about insulin. I mean, do you really need a large insulin spike? to enhance protein synthesis. Actually, there was a study done back in 2011 that addressed all these questions. So first thing I'm gonna describe the study to you. I'll give you their, their conclusions from the study, and then we'll give you some practical applications on how to take this information and use it to help keep your body fat low and help increase your muscle mass, okay? So back in 2011, they took nine um, healthy young men and they split them up into two groups. Okay, both groups did a traditional type of um, a leg extension type exercise. They did four sets of leg extension for the quadriceps, eight to 12 repetitions. They were working pretty hard, so they created a good response, okay? Then post-workout, um, for their post-workout meal, half the group had just protein, had just 25 grams of protein. Now, the other half, the other group, had that same 25 grams of protein, but they added 50 grams of carbohydrates, a sugary type carbohydrate. So that would elicit a much higher spike in insulin, the carbohydrates and the protein together. Whereas the group that just had the protein, you know, protein will spike your insulin, but at a much lower level, okay? And what they concluded from this study is that there really was no difference in muscle protein synthesis from the group that had the carbohydrates. And there was no reduction in muscle protein breakdown from the group who had the um, carbohydrates and protein together. They both, you know, definitely they both put on muscle, both groups put on muscle, but there was really no enhancement, no improvements of having the carbohydrates and the protein together. Okay, so what does that tell us? Okay, first of all, it says that you don't need a tremendous spike in insulin to enhance protein synthesis or to reduce muscle protein breakdown. I know you may have heard bodybuilders like, you know, you know who take, take insulin injections, to enhance their, 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 their enhance their muscle mass, but that's like a kind of like extreme, extreme like bodybuilding. And actually insulin by itself will not necessarily improve protein synthesis unless you have amino acids with it. Okay, that's why, you know, this study is concluding that you don't even need the carbohydrate, that the protein itself is going to spike your insulin to some degree to a much lower level than proteins and carbs together. And it's still going to enhance protein synthesis because you have the amino acids there. And it's also going to help inhibit too much muscle protein breakdown. Okay, so you, they're trying to say from this study, you don't really need to load up on the carbohydrates. Okay, so how can you use this in your everyday life? Like say, say you're looking to control your weight similar to how I do by eating like a low carbohydrate diet. I follow like a motto, keto, a modified ketogenic diet. I'm going to link up some videos I did about my modified ketogenic diet, the diet that I recommend. You know, so, so if you're following a diet along the lines of that, don't think you can't build muscle without eating a lot of carbohydrates. A more traditional bodybuilding um, diet is relatively, you know, moderate to high in carbohydrates in different cycles, you know, you know, within their training protocols. So this study is saying that if you want to put on muscle, you really don't have to have carbohydrates with your protein, especially this study looked at post-workout meal. I'm gonna link up another video we did about post-workout meals and how they're a little misunderstood. You know, protein synthesis is enhanced from, enhanced from resistance training for up to 48 hours, so you don't necessarily have to eat exactly right after you work out, okay? Other implications of this study says, like, like say you have like some type of metabolic um, diseases, you know, let's say you're insulin resistant. Let's just say you have a glucose intolerance type issues. You know, you're pre-diabetic and, and, and you want to get in shape. You want to lose weight, but you don't want to spike your insulin. You really want to keep your carbohydrates in line. This study proves that you don't have to load up on carbohydrates to put on muscle. So if you're just like working out for health and actually just to lower your body weight, 
you know, you don't have to load up on the carbohydrate. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, you know, make sure you give me a thumbs up and also leave a comment. I'm, I'm curious to know if you've experimented with, um, you know, a ketogenic diet or a low diet, a low carb type diet. Do you think it helped or inhibited, you, you know, your muscle um, gaining efforts? I personally have been eating a modified ketogenic diet now for you know, a couple of years and I don't think I've lost any muscle mass. I know my body fat is actually lower. Okay. And once again, if you're looking to improve your fitness, health and nutrition along with me, you know, subscribe to my channel. I put out videos like this every single week and I wouldn't want anyone to miss uh, one of the videos. Take care everyone and have a wonderful day.